Hey guys, welcome to the Easy Shop. It's Marco here, and I just finished installing the power draw bar with the uh, pneumatic uh, solenoid, and I thought you might be interested in seeing what it looks like. Let's take a look at it. Well, maybe I lie when I said that I was finished, but it's installed, and uh, this is a temporary setup. But to give you an idea, we have a power source there. Uh, there actuate the uh, solenoid there you got compressed air coming in and compressed air going to the air cylinder the air cylinder pushes down on this bar and let's get a little closer this bar is a little cam that pushes down on the draw bar uh, these are uh, Belleville washer I try six of them for now and uh, they act as a spring so right now it's springing up holding anything here and they call it tight when uh, the air cylinder activates it'll push down on the uh, belvin washer and it should drop the uh, tool holder off the bottom i don't have a switch right now i'll use the main power switch of the power supply uh, acting as a switch so let me sit you in a comfortable position where you can look up into the spindle and uh, we'll do a couple of tool changes and uh, then we'll just see it in action. Right, well, pardon the air leak again as I mentioned this is temporary. Just want to let you see this uh, draw bar working first of all. Okay I'm pressing the power. As you can see I might see when it pushes down on the washers. And I'm releasing the power. Again, let's see, let's take a little look farther out. Power in. And power out. Alright, well, I have uh, three tool holders uh, right here. One is a Tormac tool holder uh, with a tool in, in there just for the you know, to give you an idea, to make it more realistic. So, let's see. And here we go. That's uh, tool number one. Let's release it. Let's go with the, I call this the Tor Marco because it's a copy of the Tor Marco. A little bit looser fitting. Nevertheless, still a good a good uh, uh, grab here uh, and then we go with the small guy there's a little guy that I mean whoops Ooh, I let it drop let's do this again and there we go and this also has a good uh, good holding power and to release it here we go one last time, the tightest one is the Tormac, it's a very finely made tool holder and hopefully I can make some like this in the future and just to show you that it, it does still rotate, works just fine. I left, uh, left quite a bit of clearance up on top and I'll just show it to you now. Let me switch you, turn you around here real quick. The clearance up here. Um, I ain't quite measured it, maybe 50,000, maybe a little bit more. There you go, you can see. You can see there's quite a little bit of room. Yeah, a flashlight. And you might be able to see. See there's room between the, between the draw bar and the, and this cam, to the cam and the draw bar. So, not a problem there. Seems to be working all right. Only issue right now is uh, the leak I'm having over there I gotta fix. I need a switch, I need a permanent power supply, but uh, it's working. Yeah, those are my tools for now. Hey, so that's pretty exciting uh, news. Uh, we got a power draw bar that works. This should really speed things up and make it a lot uh, better uh, for me to use the um, the CNC mill. 
So I'll be making more of these uh, Tormax style uh, tool holders. Uh, I call them Tor Marco, just because they're just a copy. I'll just make them for myself. Uh, try to make them a little better. The Tormac ones are ground, and they are just beautiful. But uh, can't afford forty-five dollars a, a pop uh, for those. So I'll uh, be using a CNC lathe to make as many as I can. I got a bunch of uh, bars here of uh, steel to make them out of. So stay tuned. Uh, it's Minimal is really getting uh, to be uh, quite a nice machine now. All right, take care and I'll see you next time.